Hello my friends and welcome back. I am coming on to do a layout for Color Rush Studios and I'm using this kit. It is the cutest kit. It's from September 2024 and it is called You Rock. And guys, I have the main kit. I've got the add-on kit. I also have the acrylics kit, which I already used a couple pieces from it, but it is freaking adorable. Love the multi fonts. Love the vibe. It is perfect with this kit. Now, Color Rush Studio now has cut files that are part of the goodies that subscribers receive. And I cut out this cut file quite large. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. It is, oh gosh, about 10 inches across. And I cut it out of one of the pattern papers because it was my favorite black and white pattern that we had. And I thought that would be really fun. I don't know what I'm doing yet with it, but I thought it would be fun. Now this is a photo I'm gonna use. This is a photo of my youngest quite a long time ago cause she's 23 now, but she's showing her sass and we are at a skate park. And when I saw the colors of this collection, let me show you this. I thought it would be absolutely perfect. So I do think I wanna fussy cut some of these bits here. Don't know my plan yet, but I will fussy cut some. I love the black border. Great. I also think I better get a piece of white cardstock because I am sensing <laughs> that I'm going to have a lot of bold color and I want it to really be able to pop. Okay, so let's do this. Let's move this piece of white cardstock from my stash. Easy peasy, right? We're going to go ahead and cut. It's funny, my light's not even all the way down. We're gonna go ahead and fussy cut up some of these hexes. Now this floral, I was looking at ways I might wanna do the floral. I think I'm gonna come like this, have a couple of hexes just kind of popping out for vibe. We can have Little Miss Sass in here, right? But I thought it might be really fun to back the three floral elements with ribbon. So what I'll do, what I'll do, is grab from my scrap bin, I have a little, not a little, it's kind of large, a um, scrap bin of my whites for the most part. I keep whites, the occasional black, this one will work, um, the occasional black cardstock, and I keep um, like transparency. So I'm going to go ahead, I know this, this might come to be like one of these odd ideas I have, but it's okay. Um, and I'm going to just get lots and lots of dry adhesive on it. Okay. Got it. This seems doable so far in my brain. So, and I'm thinking the ATG is going to be my best bet. Perfect. And then let's take this. So this one fits. <laughs> I think I want to use like pink for the biggest. Can we get all of, hmm, I'm just making sure. Okay, let's grab the yellow one out. Or you know what I can do? Let me grab this black because, you know, black is always nice and dramatic. So I'm going to use the pink, yellow, and the black with the stars. And all I want to do is go ahead and create for the, you know, I guess like a pattern paper with it. And then I will back my cut file with it. And the reason why I thought this was such a grand idea is actually just because I never have done it. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to go ahead and back the rest of my cut file by O off camera because we don't want to bore you guys to tears. But how fun is this idea that this is going to be like my florals on my cut file? I don't know. Sometimes you just want to do the thing. And that is exactly what I'm doing. Okay, guys, I'll be back in about three hours when I get that done. Okay, guys, I am so gluey. I went ahead and back the cut file. I have not cut out any of my hexes yet. I still want to. I just don't know if I'm going to because of how big my cut file is, which I'm the one that chose the size. I know. Okay. Cut file backed. Now these limey green leaves, these were part of the hexes. And I'm very lucky because I have two sheets of this paper. So I just cut it out, filled in the leaves. It's pretty, 
pretty good. I love it. Now, what I really love is this texture I have from the fabric in the florals. I find that to be adorable. Okay, so we've got pink, we've got pink. I'm thinking the pink should be on the other side. Great. And then this little cutie patootie might have her, see, I didn't even need all that green, might have her go about here. I'm not quite sure yet. Let's see, if I went this way, ooh, this is kind of a natural spot that she can be partially tucked. Okay, I totally love that. All right, I have that. Now, my white paper is cut to um, 11 and a quarter by 11 and a quarter. So let's take a look. I'm looking through. I have fussy cut all kinds of things. So I'm just taking a look to see what my full size pieces are because I would like to create a border and I love that super bold. Okay, I'm gonna have that handy dandy. I'd like to create a border, kind of like the idea of having a lot of colors in it. So let's see what we have. We've got text, okay. I have lots of these smileys, which is super fun. These are tags, so that's a no. And then we've got a really deep pink, which is not a bad idea either. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so if I like the Super Bowl black, what makes the most sense for another color? See how that just like, just uh, a little border with that is fab. We've got sassafras right here. Great. I can do a title right here. All of that's fine. What I could do, because she's wearing pink, is do a hot pink border, which I am actually loving all of a sudden with that black. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do, even though I said I was doing all of this color. So let me go ahead and double mat that. Perfect. Um, let's see for my title. Now, let's see. Be you, cute. Be bold is adorable. I could do something like be bold, be you kind of going like this, kind of a stacked title. And yes, please, I think that's what I love. All right, great. Um, wow, I'm using a lot of their products. So then, or I could just do Be Bold, or should I just do Be You? I don't know. I do like this little stack. All right, let me back this um, cut file and make sure about my space. Okay, at this point, I have everything tacked down except for these stars because we're thinking about it. And it's kind of creating this visual triangle that I do enjoy. So let's see what we have here. I don't have this blue in my project. I have enough florals. I could take a look. Ooh, this would be cute to bring in more pink. So these pieces here are little pieces that I had already gone around and fussy cut before I did anything with the kit, just because I thought they wanted to be cut. That's the whole story. And that's what I'm sticking with. Now I have a ton more. I just didn't cut any more than this because I wanted to see what I was going to want. And now I'm getting some ideas of what I want. So that could be super cute to pop these acrylic pieces right in there. It gives it kind of a little world that I think is awesome. Okay, no more of those for right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and commit to popping these little pieces down. So there's some acrylics down, nice and cute. Couple of fussy cut pieces down. So. Oh, guys, I will also have links down below for the Facebook group as well as the website so you guys can get your hands on these goodies. There is a sketch challenge. My first layout this month featured the sketch challenge with a twist, which was really, really fun. Oh, my gosh. I didn't see how cute this one was. Oh, that's so cute. That is so cute. I can't. Yep, I need to use that one, too. Um so you guys, I think that is the fastest sketch I have ever done was with the sketch challenge. So try to jump in there. I think it was fabulous. I really like these um, little pieces I fussy cut. And I was supposed to be doing hexes. Apparently, we are doing little, um, oops, 
Well, that wasn't tacked on that tight. <laughs> Apparently, I am doing all kinds of little black and whites, and that's fine. So let's see. I can do that. I like a little bent up corner because I find it to be just a little bit more interesting. And then let's see. Guys, I know I'm supposed to take off this tack paper, but this has been sticking down just fine for me, so I'm going with it. Okay. And I can always you know, tack things down even more. I think I want it like right there. That's cute. And then we can just move these little pieces. Oh guys, don't do what I do. Just don't do what I do. <laughs> I'm going to shimmy that because I don't like the, um, it's kind of turned into like a little awkward space. So there we go. Now I've got a big spot there, which may be a great spot. <gasps> Oh my, yes, 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 to pop this piece. So I'm gonna do a little bit of bendy bend. Um, I'm gonna get a couple of pop dots as well to, hmm, do I want that? Oh, I want it all popped up. Okay, what am I even talking about? So I have just a little bit of dimensional adhesive that I'm gonna go ahead and pop down. I think that would be super cute to have a floral on top of a floral, on top of a frame with acrylics, of course, and a sassy girl at a skate park. All of this makes very little sense, but I still like it. Okay, super cute little piece here. Oh, that's cute. Okay, and those frames, I think, are fantastic around it. Now, I do have this little one, and that might be kind of fun to create as a little bit of a cluster over here. I liked it like this, it, like with the idea that it's slightly under, but only the florals are popped up. So I'm going to go ahead and do that too. Then guys, all I have to do to finish this up is to go ahead and go boop, to go ahead and, um, okay, yes, I do know how to do words, to pop a couple of these other little bits and pieces that were in these kits. They're so cute. Okay. Love that, love all the florals. Okay, so what I was referring to is there's these funny little bits that are in here. So super hot pink heart, yes, please. Oh, the perfect limey green. Okay, I can do that. So that's bringing some of the limey green across. We've got that pink. <laughs> and then we don't have yellow in this, but I do have yellow in these silly little smileys. So I think I'm going to go ahead and repeat those two elements. It's going slightly yellowy orange, which does pick up there. So I am, I'm here for it. Love it. Love it. Okay. Happy with that. Um, okay. Happy there. I am looking at these other black and white pieces and it's just because I loved them so much. I think this one right down here, I'm gonna go ahead and give it like a double pop dot on the side and have it rest slightly on the uh, acrylic, which is going to, I was saying double pop dot, does it need it? Yep, because that is some chonky acrylic and I want this to have a different level of dimension. So let's see, a little bendy bend to keep these things interesting. Oh, you know what I did? Got to scooch it over just a little bit. A little scooch because I want it above the acrylic, but not like necessarily like doubled on the acrylic. Okay. Super cute guys. It's so cute. All right. So I am just about done with this little project. Now, I told you I'll have links down below. I will also go ahead and have, um, I'll have links down below and I will go ahead and have some still shots to follow. You guys subscribe to the kits and you get these cut files. There's this one and then there's one that had text on it that I haven't been able to use yet. I'm going to just create a little bit more bends and dimension and all of that kind of fun stuff. Like I said, I have a couple of um, 
have a couple of still shots to follow and I will see you guys ever so soon with another video. I'm gonna pick this up so you can see it. I know it's super simple, but this cut file was gorgeous and doing the little elements with the fabric makes it that much more interesting. So, oh, that's cute. So fun, fun, fun guys, just some acrylics, some cute little pieces popped on and I am a happy girl. All right guys, I'll see you soon. Bye for now friends.